What's good, y'all? I've been away, I know. I've been slacking, I've been playing. But, as y'all can see, I cut my hair down a little bit. But anyway, I was thinking to myself about a good topic to help a lot of people out. Um, I was talking to my brother and probably a couple of my friends the other day. And a lot of y'all try to figure out why y'all can't find them. And today's topic talks about the mindset, basically, the people's mindset. The thing is, people have the wrong mindset when it comes to finding somebody. Everybody believes that they is this best catch of the world. They just deserve this and that. In reality, they don't deserve it at all. And you're like, what? Because it's a mindset. How you carry your mindset of what you deserve is either going to have you single or help you find somebody. What am I talking about? Good question. Okay, like I know somebody personally. He a cool dude, but he like five foot four. And he think that he going to get this, the, the baddest model chick there is. Everywhere we go, it got to be the baddest chick there is. What I've been trying to get him to understand is his mindset is in the wrong place. Okay. Give and take, when you get about 26 or over, be realistic with yourself. If you're talking to somebody that's, in your eyes, super, super fine, nine times out of ten, if you're a dude trying to talk to a woman, that woman has a lot of options. On, on a whole nother level. She probably talked to a dude she messed with and she got that dude that's spending money on her. The better somebody looks, the more of the lifestyle that you got to be able to keep up with. You're not going to go talk to no fine chick and she accepts you having a regular job because most of the time she going to want you to pay some type of bill or give her a certain type of lifestyle. Um, I hate to say you better off with an a average chick because it's not such thing as an average chick, but a chick that does not look as well, most likely may have a more humbler attitude about who she talked to because she's not getting the same amount of attention. She got less options and she has probably more of a humble mindset to be in a better catch. Everybody got this fairy tale story that they deserve to be with the finest person. And I'm not saying everybody looks at it that way, but come on now, people. Attraction is what initially gets you. So everybody shoots for this person that's so, so attractive. And most of the time they treat them like crap because they're getting so much attention and they have so many options that you can do one thing and you're not an option. Versus somebody that don't have a lot of options, they might tolerate a little bit more. Now, people, this is what I'm going to say, because I even tell my brother this. You have to have a realistic mindset. If you are a person that's single and you at the prime in your life, you could get that person. But, for example, I'm not going to say any names, but I know someone... Dope. My attitude jacked up. So, with your attitude being jacked up, it takes away from the level person that you can get. Because a lot of people ain't going to want to deal with that strong personality, jacked up attitude. So, that individual needs to adjust their standards. You got to adjust them because if you don't, asking yourself, ask yourself, why do I continuously be single. Why? I'm meeting these people and it ain't going there. Or I'm meeting people and I'm saying they're not good enough for me. What are you really searching for? Ask yourself that. So, given taking your situation or your age depends on what you can get. If you are younger, you have a great opportunity at a track. Like if you were 20, 21, Maybe 23, 24. Nine times out of 10, you just begin in life as far as trying to figure out what you're going to do. 
you youthful, so you open-minded. So yeah, you can meet the person in your dreams, but when you hit the ages of 30 and stuff, less options, most people got kids. So if you are a woman or a man single with no kids and you walk around saying you don't want nobody with no kids, or are you really being realistic? Or are you really being truthful with yourself with these high demands as time is constantly passing you by and you're still single. Um, it kills me when I personally have met women and they don't have a kid and they say that somebody that has a kid is not responsible. Everybody in half their time where they and just went for it when they get in depth in the motion. So it's kind of like, okay, you didn't have a kid. But if you almost 30 years old as a woman, do you really think that you're going to find a man that don't have kids? Because by the end, they probably got multiple kids. You know, once you get a certain age and you constantly having sex, you're going to have kids eventually. I mean, they the small percentage. But it's to me, it's just more of being realistic with your mindset. It's not nothing wrong with saying, okay, I don't have a kid. I want somebody that don't have a kid. I'm not knocking nobody for that. But when you set that standard, how many people are you eliminating? How many good catches are you eliminating? You are narrowing your road where it's going to be very hard. And some people say, well, I'm just going to be single. Why be single if you desire to be with somebody? Is it that hard for you to make an adjustment to find happiness? Because what are we really searching for, people? What is the real thing we searching for? Are we searching for happiness or perfection? Are we stuck on certain qualities over having a good relationship? What are we really searching for? I got a, 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 a male friend, another male friend. If a woman is fine, that's all that matters to him. She can have a bad attitude, it don't matter. Because that obsession with infatuation is going to hold on for him. But, like, if he see a chick that's average, he don't want to talk to her. And the thing that he's dealing with, can't find nobody. Because he looking, he looking, he's not looking at the fact that he's aging. And he wants somebody that's look like a supermodel when... He ain't 21 no more. So you have to be realistic. It's all about a mindset. If your mindset is wrong, it's going to be hard for you to find somebody. And today, people, I will tell you this, on either side of the fence, the, the tens on e either side of the fence, people, get it out your mind. People think that a person that's not a 10 and I'm not saying everybody, so don't get offended, people. But most people think if they're not a 10, then that's not somebody they're going to talk to. And what I mean by a 10, it does not necessarily mean looks, standards. A lot of people have these unrealistic standards, and then they say, well, it's realistic. It's hard to find somebody faithful, that's honest, and it communicates those three things alone. And you can add that don't have any diseases. So, nine times out of ten, when you meet somebody, they can have some qualities, but nobody is going to meet all your standards. So, if you continue to walk around and expect everybody you meet to meet all these standards, you are searching for something that is not realistic. And if it is, they are already married. They are already chosen by somebody at a young age. People, wake up. Age range plays a part when it comes to mindset. Fresh out of high school, 18 to 25, yes, you can. Once you get over 25, all that, this, that, that, standard should be, I don't want to be with a cheater. I don't want to be with somebody that stinks. I don't want to be with somebody that don't respect me. I don't want to be with someone that makes fun of me all the time. Standards could be things like that. Not saying, oh, I prefer somebody that's tall. 
Oh, he has to be light skin. Oh, he has to be dark skin. Think about it, people. I have a preference, but at the same time, a good woman is the main goal for me. Yeah, I got to be attracted to her, but being attractive does not necessarily mean that you're the most attractive person. And people don't understand that because to people, attraction is being the most attractive. They have meet three people and two of them can be okay and that one is most attractive. That person that's most attractive will get leeway for with a lot of stuff unless he, unless he or she is a jacked up person versus a person that has is not as attractive. The person that's not that attractive will get pushed away. Looked at as not really being an option. More so somebody that they deal with when they bored. People, stop dealing with people when you bored. That's not getting you where you want to be. Talk to somebody that you like beyond just them looking good or them having a bigger bank account. Because at the end of the day, them having a big bank account, them looking good cannot buy you happiness. They looks can't make you happy. They just, it's just something good to look at. And, you know, I had someone tell me one time that I was talking to someone and that they didn't feel that they were up to my standards. And I told them, I, I want that good medium, I'm not looking for the best because the best is either married or what I may think is the best may not be the best for me or you. So you really got to, you really got to have the right mindset. And that's what I be trying to tell my friends and random people I meet, have the right mindset, quit thinking that you deserve all these unrealistic expectations that don't exist. Y'all watching too many movies, too many television shows that's telling y'all these lies. We live on earth. Get in tune on reality. Ask yourself this. If your mindset is stuck on what you want and you continue going through what you're going through, what has changed? Why does it keep happening? What do you have to do to change what's happening? If you like somebody that's feisty, maybe you don't need nobody that's feisty. If you keep having the same result, you know, you got to make adjustments. Mindset. I'm not saying now, some people are going to be like, oh, he's saying that I should be with somebody ugly. I'm not saying that. Or somebody that don't have a decent job. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, if you have the correct mindset about dating or whoever you talk to, you will kind of better be in a better position to find that. That's all I'm saying. So if you see somebody, and maybe let's say women, you like dark skin men or light skin, or men, you like dark skin, light skin, whichever, or whatever race. Until you meet a person and give a person a chance, you don't know if they would be your type. But if you're just going off a strictly a profile, you need to change your mindset. Because I got preferences, but I didn't talk to people that want my preference. Um, because I had an open mind. You have to be open-minded. A closed-minded person gets nowhere. Believe all that fabrication stories you want to believe about I'm not lowering my standards. A wise person knows it's not about lowering, it's about adjusting them to what today is and being realistic. You have to be realistic. You can be unrealistic all you want because if I could write up the unrealistic woman I want, I would. We all would. But since we are on earth and we got to be realistic, that's what I'm going to do. But let me know what y'all think. You know, about what I'm saying about this mindset thing. If you disagree, leave a comment. If you agree, thumbs up. But what I want everybody to take out of this video, adjust your mindset.
And, and adjusting your mindset is not just saying I'm going to adjust it, practicing, looking at your flaws, understanding that you got ways and kind of implement that to whoever you talk to. If you got a real bad attitude, you ain't getting that 10, 1% chance or 10% chance unless you adjust yourself. If you want whatever you want, make some adjustments on yourself. That's my time, y'all. Like and subscribe. Nice talking to y'all. More to come y'all way soon.